Do you think I can steal a horse? Probably shouldn't, right? May I? May I borrow a horse? I did. Thank you. Let's see here. I actually don't know where she lives. But I just thought that maybe following the road might be a good idea. No! She's up there somewhere. There's some kind of settlement as well. Just make sure they're friendly. <coughs> That's a look at. Hey! I'll cut that nagging too. Fine. Let's keep going. I'm just full as I said, I'm just following the road to see. If if that how to get up there. I can't quite remember how to get to her, her place. I think it's a her. All cast a her, right? <laughs> how do I just <laughs> like this? Okay. No? Um, please? I don't know how to dismount the horse. Uh, drop, crouch. Um, auto movement. Long ship, no really. Camera, not really. Abilities, not really. Character. Dismount. Okay, let's see. There we are. There's something over there. Mysteries. We'll head there afterwards. First of all, let's go into and see Walton. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep. 
and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding, Saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey. 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 Do I walk among the dead? This is not where it was before. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? Snowy, isn't it? What is this? You can't see anything. So weird. Oh, that's the wolf fan. And another house. Well, no, it's not a house, it's just an entrance or doorway. That's a wolf. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. Is that the right thing? Odin and the Nor Nornia were there? The wolf beckoned me. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I 
I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. It's quite simple. I don't want to betray Sigurd. Skill points earned. No. Just trying to get the antlers. Okay, there there is a mystery. Okay. They're actually fighting me. You're way too fast for this. Let's just try to find the um the blue orb of here. And then also get the... See if I can get some, some views over the area. Oh, that's nice. Very good view down here. So, Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Hello, I'm trying to loot. I think I loot them, looted them already. Okay, I can see. Ooh. Let's just loot this already. I think this might be the secret. Ivan, wake up! Or you will be cast into the wild! Stay awake. They could be anywhere. Is he walking in his sleep? They are That's everywhere. Funny. If we die, everyone <coughs> dies. <coughs> okay. Fall asleep. Need to see them coming. You're still sleeping. Ivan, wake up! You're headed for the edge! Strand loot outcrabbing of obsidians to gather resources. Is he going to ride the rope slide? Windy. Storm coming. He actually is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you actually wake up now? Ivan! Ivan! Calm down! 
You are asleep. No. I was flying through the air. In your sleep. A harsh awakening, true. But at least you live. Have you always taken these dream walks? Since my posting here. When I am in bed, I worry about ways we could be attacked. When I'm on watch, I cannot stay awake. Only a fool stays awake all night worrying. You're tired when you get up, and the problem is still not solved. You speak with the wisdom of Odin, Eivor. I will think on these words when I am in bed. Consider them on your watch, and sleep when you're in bed. But now, report back before you label a deserter. Go. World event completed the Dreamwalking Warrior. That was a bit weird. Just <laughs> walking around in his sleep. And then taking the rope slide there as well. Rather weird, but I mean that's fine. I think this might be a good advantage point to see. You said uh, I don't know, okay. I don't actually, actually need to do that, but fine. Because I'm out of Okay, let's try to clamp this man in here. Okay, I need to go a bit to one direction here. Other direction over here, maybe. I'm stuck. Don't think I can climb on those icicles there. I mean, that makes sense, right? They are kind of slippery, I guess. Oh, this is a very good advantage point. See everything around the area. So, so my town thingy is back down that direction, right? Let's check, <laughs> take a look at the map. So there's a cobble. This map is huge. Um, okay, so there's a couple of secrets or mysteries over here as well. But I, I think I might want to just go back to this place for now. Yeah, I think so. I think that might be the best idea here. A bit hard to jump, but I was like... Okay. <laughs> Don't mind. Um, I think I... Did I didn't I get some... Skill points, yeah I did. Another two. Gives bonus to all raven aligned gear, okay. Wolf aligned gear. And this one is to the bear. Right now I have the raven gear. I think I'll just take, so I have two in every one of them. And then this one also got some more things to my to my armor and weapons. If they are raven aligned, I think. I think they might be. So this one is... This is a bear. This is a wolf. And this is a raven. Right. Let's return to the clan and see if there's anything. Yeah, if the king wants to speak to me, I think. Hopefully, he'll. Um, the fastest way is probably this way. Yeah, if I can get 
down somehow without actually taking too much damage. As you can see, it might be possible. It's just instead of going all the way around here. It's <laughs> just about to get stuck there. Nope, oh, that's that's too far. Uh, I think if if I hadn't hit there, it would have been devastating, to say the least. Let's climb down here instead of doing every f stupid things, like jumping over cliff. I mean, I, I, I have survived worse, like being attacked by a wolf, but still, it might be a good idea to, to play it safe at s sometimes. Is that? That's an awe thing. Might just be iron there. But still. This way. There's an, some more, some more ore over here. I mean, I guess it. I guess I, it's good idea to just get it, so I have it if I need it. I guess it's useful for weapons and stuff. I begin seeing houses again. Would you please stop doing that? And there you are. Almost back down. Let's just grab off you. Nice. The war that came after echoes through the nine worlds still. Midgard the would drown in the blood spilled, and their dead would hide the sun. Those bravely fallen, now buried, wait for Heimdall to blow the Gjallarhorn and summon them to battle one last time. Losses on both sides, left each open to attacks from Jotnar and other monsters. So Odin, sure. in his wisdom, Proposed the truth and marriage. No, I don't want to speak with that guy. Let's see here. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'll see. Him I'm now. ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stiebjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward. And explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Um, right. What should I say back to that? Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Mm. 
Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Quest complete. Let's go, talk to Sigurd. It's been a while since I last saw him. And not being in one of my weird wishes. Visions. Hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vod! See good! Ah, <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been warring without me? Oh, and you, salt cured Vikinger. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. Rantvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. I don't really like those guys. 